All right, welcome back to the first day to the study plan graph theory. Let's do the second problem. Numbers of islands. This is a medium difficulty one. Let's read the question. Given an A multiplicated in 2D binary grid, which represents a map of one land and zero water, return the number of islands. An island is surrounded by water and is formed by connection adjacent lands horizontally or vertically. You may assume all four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water. Okay. For the example one, we have this is a land and it's, uh, it's connected with this land, this land, this land, and this land, and this land, and this land. So it is one island. For, so for the example one, we have one island. For example two, we have this is a land connected with this land, connected with this land. So it is one, one island. And we have this is one island, and this is one island. Okay, I hope the question makes sense to you. Now let's uh, let's let's visualize it to make it more clear. Here we have our land, our water. And everything is zero. Okay. This is our matrix. To solve this problem, we go through every number in our matrix. The time complexity should be n squared. Let's start by this one. We have one, so we check the neighbors. If they are one, they are one. So this is one island. And we go to the next one. We already check it, so we don't we don't check it again. And then we go up to another one, another one, until we find this one. This is one island. They are, they have all the neighbors are the water, so this is just one one another island. And until and we go to the next one until we reach this one, and we found another island here. Okay, let's see how we can solve this. Let's make a function that will help us that name is helper that's like e and g now let's check let's check if e is a smaller or equal than zero is bigger or equal than zero and smaller than the length of our grid and g it should be bigger or equal than our than zero and smaller than the length of grid the first element or the second slab of matter and we check if the grid of E and G is equal to 1 if it is so this is a grid if it is so we make it equal to 0 and then we call this function again for the neighbors So here it should be plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. And that's it. Now let's loop for each element in our matrix. So for E in range of the length of the grid. And for G, okay, this is string. For G in range of the length of grid, the first element. If the grid of E G is equal to one, so we call our function helper that it's like in parameters E and G, and we need to do uh, a counter to count the number of our islands. So the counter should be increased by one. And finally, to return the counter, this is it. It should be work. Let's run the code. Okay, something wrong. This is, should be string. Okay, here I need to check if it's equal to 1. Then we call the helper and we increase the counter by 1. Stupid mistake. Now let's submit. And voila, 
it's all fine so i hope uh, you know this video was was useful for you and see you soon hopefully